We are Iron Rain, and this is our center stage, Robot in Two Days. Robot in Two Days is a way for us as a team to take our fresh ideas coming out of the game reveal and experiment with them by building a preliminary competition robot during the weekend of the reveal. This process taught us a lot about the game mechanics and where to focus our design and engineering innovations. Before we could build our ID8, we needed to better understand the game. Looking at the center stage field, there were a couple of key things we noticed. One. Effective scoring on the field would require a small, light, and fast robot to allow it to transit between the two sections of the field efficiently and hang from the rigging. In order to pass under the rigging, robots need to be at max 14 inches tall, and for the closed stage door, 11 inches. Two, the pixels are quite light, so the gripper needs to be easy to manipulate and quite light as well. The ability to maneuver two pixels at a time also presents lots of opportunities for transfer systems where one pixel is scored while the other is picked up. The large distances between pixel intake and the backdrop also means that robot design should focus on reducing turns and rotations to decrease cycle times. 3. Because of the orientation of the wings, there will be intense competition for the white pixel stacks, meaning a quick cycle time is imperative to remain competitive. Intaking from the stack should be a priority as intaking from the wings will be difficult because of their positioning. 4. Cameras will need to be able to detect April tags, team props, and pixel stacks for maximum scoring potential. Vision pipelines are extremely important for autonomous scoring since the majority of available points rest on placing pixels and spots based on the location of the team prop. 5. The drone will be a major point of interest in this year's game, especially with regard to what constitutes a legal drone. Lots of experimentation with drone designs and folding techniques could help identify designs that allow for a greater degree of control. 6. We also decided to model the point system in a spreadsheet so we can get an idea of where the points were. We plan to take this a lot further with what if analysis around different cycle times projected to be achievable as the season progresses and how we should optimize our points. Many of these key points went into our design for robot in two days. Looking at a diagram of the robot, we can point out key design choices. The entire robot chassis is 11 inches tall, which allows it to drive underneath the closed stage door and rigging for maximum mobility. It is a basic mechanum and rev rail chassis. The gripper is a simple pincher gripper that we salvaged from an early iteration of a power play robot that can grab two pixels at a time from both the ground and the stack. It is controlled by a servo and features squinches to better grip the pixels. In order to limit the rotation of our robot and allow it to move in a straight line when cycling, we implemented a transfer system along with the gripper. The gripper picks up pixels and transfers them to a pixel holder, also known as the scoopagon. The scoopagon holds the pixels while they are flipped up onto the backdrop. To allow for an extended deposit range, the scoopagon is placed on a linear slide that allows the deposit system to extend out and place pixels onto the backdrop, ideally to create taller sets of pixels that can get the set line bonuses. While our robot did achieve some level of success, there were a lot of problems that we discovered that impacted our understanding of the game. First off, we were unable to properly attempt the drone and hanging aspects of the game in the short time span, but we hope to further develop those and post updates in our progress. Another important issue was regarding the depositing of the pixels. Our mechanism relies on a servo that flips the pixel onto the backdrop. The design walks on the boundary of propelling the pixel versus placing it. The momentum of our deposit system often led to the pixels bouncing off the backdrop and not scoring, and also may be considered against the rules. Our intake system could also be more efficient, and we also tested a scooping mechanism similar to a spatula that could flip the pixels on it as a potential intake system. We may attempt a beater bar system as well further in the season. Additionally, the lack of driver practice and recycled chassis design led to slow cycle times, but this will improve as the season progresses. Overall, though our robot in two days was able to functionally score points, there is a lot of further development and experimentation required to understand the mechanics of the game. We didn't even get started on the robot hang mechanism. It's tempting to dual use the pixel placing arm, but the requirements are opposite. The pixel placer needs to be fast and light, but hanging needs torque and not as much speed. We thought about using a double tape measure lift prior team members had built. It definitely had the power required, but it needed a spot directly above the center of mass of this robot, and we couldn't figure that out in time.